reasons why the church in Kenya condemns addiction to drugs. Number one, because it can lead to what? To diseases. After continuous use. After, after you are you, 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 you addicted to drugs, which disease can you get? Yes? Eh, very good. Liver cirrhosis. And then one day, actually, one day, most people who die due to that, they cough blood or something, and then you're dead. Just in a second. And what our society uh, usually puts in our mind is that someone has bewitched you. That's why you died instantly. Or your wife has killed you. Yet we all know that you are what? You are addicted. You are drunk. You are untagged. And then they say, oh, you killed. And then you go. Lately, actually, now is when it has stopped. Several people have died just coughing blood and you die. You pass on. Due to the liver cirrhosis. If today we tell you to stop, to stop abusing drugs, especially our drugs, if you're abusing them, there's someone, actually I was shocked at that family because these people I know. The son got the liver cirrhosis, right? And everyone knows that the, 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 the father and the mother are the ones who are giving the son what? Money. And then all of a sudden, the, the hospital says that he needs a liver transplant. Of course, you're supposed to, as everyone uh, thinks that our doctors cannot do anything, you need to go to where? To India. And the, there's a fundraising. Not even a fundraising. The family is urging the sister to donate the liver to the brother. The sister has kids, has a husband, and is going on with their life. They only have one son. Number one, the people who are coming to contribute. Ask yourself as a Christian, what shall we do as Christians? You know this person abuses what? Drugs. Actually, you know him everywhere. You normally meet him and he's arrogant. And he's given a lot of money. He doesn't even work. He's in the day in the university. And then he has a, a liver what? Complication. He needs a transplant. I don't know what, what exactly it was, the liver cirrhosis. But now he needs it immediately. What will you do as a Christian? You start contributing to the fundraising. You also urge the sister. You'll be in the line of, where, of whereby you're telling the sister to do what? To give the what? The liver. What if you give the liver and the person, yes, of course, you, they don't take the, the whole liver, right? They usually, uh, now I know of two people who've done it. Two people, yes, two. Two. What you do is your sister or your brother, whoever agrees to, they go, a section of their liver is taken out and then it's implanted in, in, your, in your own body. The only side effect is the person who was done that, uh, that time it was the sister, they added a lot of weight. They added a lot of weight. They had to travel with them for a month, so they have also to recuperate. Uh, it's called to recuperate with them together. There, and their mother had to leave. In both instances, that time I didn't know. Lately is when I knew the first, the one that I'm, t I'm, I'm telling you, the second one. The second one, the uncle told the family. This one, the situation that I'm telling you. I'm going to contribute the what? I'm going to give the liver to your son, right? But you'll have to pay me. Like around 600,000 or something like that. So they agreed. Both parents were working. So they went to India. They did everything and they came back. We didn't even take three months. He died. Because he got healed and he went back to what? To drinking. The church was in the forefront with the contributing. Then God, even the uncle said to be paid what? Money. He died, the son died. The other, I remember because the other, the other days when the father died and it was announced like that, I said, Why, how is the son? He said, ah, he didn't even say. He came from that place, he was healed and all of that, he went back to what? To using drugs. There is also another one. These are people I'm telling you, this one is one on one. I know 
This is person I know. I say, hi, hi, hi. This one also was contributed for. But before contributing, was it, did he first go to, to study in the UK? Yes. Was it before going to UK or after coming from UK? Because we didn't know he had a situation of something. Yes, but he also needed a liver. He still needed a liver. The sister now went. The sister that time, that this sister was not married. He went, he went to India. It was done. Of course, the sister cannot ask God for any payment. Then they came back. After they came back, this one has, is going on with their work well. They're in business. They're doing everything well. So what I don't know is whether he started drinking, he was using hard drugs in the UK or what. We didn't know. But we knew he was what? He was six, and because they are, they are close, you can't say anything. You just make your what? Your contribution. But you see that one changed. They changed. In the first place, even before, when they were organized, we didn't know whether they were using drugs or anything. That one we didn't know. But they still had a liver what? Issue. But the other one that I'm telling you passed on. Ha. Ah. So ask yourself, I'm, I'm giving you an example of these situations so that you can decide for you, you can make the right judgment whether to use drugs or not. So another reason why the church in Kenya condemns addiction to drugs is because it can lead you to be jailed. Most people actually are in jail because of what? Drugs. You're on hard drugs, you go kill your both parents and neighbors. There's a person from where I come from who did that. One son came with a panga, the mother and the father before they are taken to the hospital. And he's in jail now. Because of he was using what? Bang. And he was tired. Something like that. I didn't understand. It was like ten years ago. It also can lead to loss of job due to negligence. Negligence and also absenteeism. Also, another reason why the church condemns addiction to drugs is because it leads to dropping out of school. You become defiant because you don't, need the, you, don't, you don't see the necessity of school. You are told by your parents, please go to school. And then you think it is wasted of time. Say, I'd rather go work because people, when they go to school, they don't get jobs. No. People who go to school and study their jobs, there are people who are employed today. And I have examples. Like Munyoki was here, still in the campus, right? And now he works. He still works when he's in campus. I can give you, even the brother to Stephen, he usually comes here, yes? He's in campus. You can see those people, and they are working still. They were here. You can see all of them. So why are people lying to you and you accepting? And people want to change your family tree. The person who is going to introduce you to drugs, and I told you this, I was listening to the radio, and I was so shocked. People were being, at that time I was in Amata, I don't know even what I was doing there. And people are too being to told to call and tell you who introduced you to your first drink, to your first puff. Your relatives, your cousin, your uncle. And what do they do? Actually, actually go look at the, at the uh, it's called what? The research that was done. The people who introduce you to drugs is your relative because he wants to change your family tree. He thinks that you're going to study and you become wealthy. And then you know now they'll be dependent on your what? On your family because now you, you are doing well. If they think your, the son is doing well, your uncle will introduce you to drugs and lie to you. Your cousin. It is always your relative who will introduce you. But the worst part is your brother. Your brother thinks in school you're studying well and you're, you're, doing, you're getting better grades. Yes? And they, they don't want you ahead of... Because, they, yes, he doesn't want you to be ahead of him. He tells you, hey, I saw some people drinking, I also drink. And he doesn't do it. And then he continues studying so that you can be dependent on him. Because the person who introduces you to drugs, if you continue drinking and you don't get a good grade, immediately after you clear form 4, you complete your form four. They'll they'll give you a border border and tell you start working for the border border and bring me money. And then now because you you are not aware of yourself, you start even stealing from him. You continue drinking because now you are funding your what, your situation. Imagine you in a border border carrying a woman and then you see your classmate here driving next to you. 
that time you have illegitimate children and then they ask you then of course the person who's driving will say hello hello how are you and then your child asks you daddy who you nani what will you tell tulikuwa tunasoma na yeye hata na mtoto anakuua anakuuliza na kwa nini wewe una gari what will you say ni mapenzi ya Mungu what will you say It's not God willing. God wants all wealth. He gives us wealth to be stewards of it. He wants us to be very wealthy. So ask yourself, while you're working, you see your classmate here or the newspaper, the CEO of a particular company and he's giving people jobs. Yet even when you're seeing the what, the newspaper, it is like two weeks old. That is when you're sobering up. And then maybe you went to the next butchery there you're sitting there that is when you're seeing and you see that is your classmate how would, will you feel ask yourself these are the things that you picture yourself like five years coming or 10 years to come then you know where you are another reason why the church in Kenya condemns addiction to drugs is it can lead to divorce or separation or quarrels from there we talk about Now we talk about why some people abuse alcohol and other drugs. I think we talked about yesterday. Yes. Do you, they've just repeated due to frustrations. We talked about it yesterday. Media influence, financial stress, neglect of children by their parents, negative peer pressure, availability of drugs, poor role models, permissiveness in the society. We talked about this yesterday.